Because you turned on your camera. Thank you for that. Where are you from, Mr. Fergus, and what do you do? Uh, I'm from Facebook. I'm a driver service. Okay, I want to know. English learning. That's why I joined. Okay, that was good to know. Thank you, Mr. Fergus. Uh, the rest of you see Mr. Fergus turn on his camera, please. The others. It would be great if I could see your faces, if I could see you one on, just like you can see me. And it would be better for us to interact in the class because our course is interact is an interactive course. We learn through interaction. Thank you, Mr. Rizwan, for joining on your camera. So as I was saying, we we uh, learn through interaction in our course. We communicate with each other, and that is the main target of us to learn through communication. So I see many of you have joined already. So let's start our class. So I'll start with um, uh, Mr. Uh, Amir Hussain, could you please turn off your mic so that everyone can hear me out? Mr. Amir Hussain, could you please turn off your mic? Okay, so um, as we all know that Tassol Academy follows an international standard and we all our course materials that we follow, every book, every course book, every workbook that we follow, I'm sorry. Mr. Amri Hussain, could you please turn off your mic? Okay. Um, you turn him. Mr. Amir Hussain, please turn off your mic. The sound is coming from your home. Mr. Amir Hussain, please turn off. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please, please go on. Thank you, sir. Okay, so as I was saying, all our books and course materials that we follow are all of international standard and we do not follow any locally named or published books. So we follow books from abroad and all these books that we follow are of foreign quality. Anyways, moving on to that, what our main approach is, we follow the communicative approach in which uh, the main two aspects of learning English is Firstly, development of your skills. And the second one is improvement of your efficiency. So how do we do that? We develop our skills by developing our listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So we develop these skills in that way. We learn um, to communicate more fluently, to speak more fluently. That way, it improves our skills. And secondly, we improve our efficiency. That is, we improve, we work on our grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. So all the materials that we follow all include the main uh, concepts and activities and lessons that are needed for you to develop your skills and improve your efficiency. So I will start with sharing our book at first. So now that you don't have the course materials with you, it would be a bit difficult, might be a bit difficult for you to understand but i will try we always try our level best for you to, for you to understand properly what we are trying to teach you so we will i will be sharing the book at first please let me know if it's visible to you or not and if it's clearly visible or not okay yes so i hope if you can see the screen that i just shared Can everyone see the screen that I just shared? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so uh, let me first tell you that we will be completing 12 units of this book in our course. And our course, is of, uh, course consists of 40 classes, more or less, not less, but mainly more. Most of the time, more of 40 classes are needed. So the time length is three and a half months, might go to four months. It's up to the performance of the students. So that is an average time limit that we consider as three and a half months and 40 classes. So that is how we work on our course. So this book that we are seeing, this is the first unit that we're going to start today. Although this is a demo class, the first demo class, don't 
think that we will not be showing you the actual course material or we will not be doing the actual lesson that we will be doing in the course after you get registered. That's not the case here. Even in demo class, we start from the very beginning of the lessons that we usually do in our courses, and we do it the same way that it is done in our actual classes. So, it, so that it's easier for you to understand how the, our classes are, what you can learn out of it, and how interactive we are. So our main motive is to be interactive in class, for which I am continuously requesting all of you to keep your cameras on as much as much as possible so that it's easier for us to interact and communicate during the class because our activities involve talking to each other so that would be very easy for all of you to learn okay so that is why i am um, asking you to do it uh, to turn on the cameras often okay let's start with our first unit that is, what's your story? So each of our units, uh, I, I would like to thank all, uh, all of you who have already turned your cameras. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I can see Mr. Ferdos, Mr. Sajido, good to see you again. And uh, then we have uh, Mr. Nuru Zaman and Ms. Ima. So thank you very much, uh, those who turned on your camera. So let's get started with our lesson. That is, our first unit is uh, about what's your story so that's the title of our first unit so here in each unit we will be as i said we will be developing our skills that is our listening speaking reading and writing so all these skills will be uh, developed in one way or the other through the activities that we have in each unit and uh, then there are vocabulary and grammars that we would be learning throughout our course so in our first unit we will firstly get to introduce ourselves uh, we would learn to introduce ourselves so let's start firstly we will see we will watch a video from the publisher and that video will summarize the whole unit that we're going to learn about that we will be doing in our following classes and this video will be presented by a teacher from oxford so let's get into the video and let's see what this unit Holds for us and what we can learn, new things, what new things we will be learning. Maybe the, thing, maybe the lessons might not be new to all of you. It might be something that we already know, but I can assure you that all our lessons, all our activities will have something new for you to learn or at least brush up your skills, okay? So let's get into the video and let's see what the first unit holds for us. Welcome to Headway Intermediate. My name's Richard, and I'm a teacher in Oxford. This is Unit 1, and this is some of my story. I was born in 1990 in London. I'm 1 meter 85, so I'm quite tall, and have brown eyes. In my free time, I enjoy swimming and playing tennis. In this unit, we focus on information questions. We'll look at how to form different questions to find out information about people, places, and things. How many adjectives do you know for describing people, things, and situations? In vocabulary and speaking, we'll look at which adjectives work with particular nouns. How to form compound adjectives such as good-looking and middle-aged, and the differences between ed and ing adjectives, like bored and boring, relaxed and relaxing. Who are you closest to in your family? In listening and speaking, you'll hear several people talking about which family member they are close to and why. I'm closest to my mom because she supports me and it's easy to talk to her about any problem I've got. I'm closest to my mother because she always advises me and gives me good solutions. 
you will also practice writing a description of a person that you know well, using both facts and opinions. Have you missed a class? Go online to review the material from the lesson and to consolidate. So that was the summary of the first unit that we're going to see and going to do in our following classes starting from today. So let's move on to our first page. So as we just got to know that from the video that firstly we are going to see how to introduce someone or how to get information about someone by questioning someone or by answering to those questions. Or firstly, how we can introduce ourselves and give, give uh, some information about ourselves or even how we can get some information about others by listening to their introduction. So that is our first lesson for today. So we will be learning how to describe people, how we can describe ourselves. So all these will be included in the first lesson of today. So here, as you all can see, there's a nice lady smiling at us, and her name is Erica Nordstrom. She's introducing herself to us in a short manner, but then again, not so short manner. So you usually, whenever we introduce ourselves, we most of the time, to keep it very short, what do we do? We just say our name or where we're from or what we do. That's it, right? Most of the time, to keep it very short. But in a professional way, if we get to say it, what do we say? We say our name, we say where we're from, what we do, or where we did we study from, our background, or we often also add our hobbies or interests toward any activity or anything, suppose like reading books or uh, doing some sports or getting involved in any extracurricular activity. So this is like a very, um, what do I say, the term is a very short, but not very short. It is informative that I am giving out some information about myself that is not way too much, but then again, appropriate for the other person to know me. So that is what we will get to see today. This is Erica Nordstrom, as I uh, just said, he's from Sweden. So we'll get to listen to where she's from and how she introduces herself. So let's listen to that and then we'll read about her introduction. Listen very carefully, everyone. 1.1, Erica Nordstrom. Hi, I'm Erica Nordstrom. I'm Swedish. I live in Malmö in the south of Sweden. I'm a product quality manager for IKEA. My boyfriend, Lars, works as a security officer on the Ersen Bridge. We're both keen ice hockey players. We play for a local team, but last month I fell and twisted my ankle, so there's no hockey for me for a while. Okay, so that was the introduction of Erika Nordstrom. What I would like to do is I would like all of you, I would like to request all of you to read the introduction that is given here. I will read it out for you as well. Just the, what I what we heard right now is actually what is written here. And I would li like all of you to read it first. Turn off your mic, read it out loud for yourself. And then I'll ask one of you to uh, read it out loud in the class, okay? So read it for yourself. I'll read it for you as well right now. And then you can read it by yourself or along with me as well. So I'll start now. So Erika Nordstrom says, Hi, I'm Erika Nordstrom. I'm Swedish. I live in Malmo. I live in Malmo in the south of Sweden. I'm a product quality manager for IKEA. My boyfriend Lars works as a security officer on the Orson Bridge. We're both keen hockey players. We play for a local team. But last month, I fell and twisted my ankle, so there is no hockey for me a while. So that is the introduction of Erika Nordstrom. Do read it by yourself. I'll give you some time for it.
Okay, as you read the introduction that Erica just gave about herself, keep in mind that this by this is a very simple thing I know for everyone. You might think, why are we doing this? Why are we reading this simple thing? But it will actually benefit you in a way that you will be able to introduce yourself in a better way. In a maybe you already do it in a good way, but you can improve your introduction by just having an idea of what more you can add about yourself or about the situation that you are in or about your life at the moment that the information that you can share to the other person. So this this will be the benefit that you might get from uh, listening to this and reading this introduction. Okay, so let's start. I. I think all of you completed reading the, uh, the introduction. So I would like, um, who do I choose? I would like Mr. Sajibul to start. Could you please read the introduction for us, Mr. Sajibul? Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, I, we can hear you clearly. Okay. Hi, I am Erika Nordstrom. I'm Swedish. I live in Malmo, in the south of Sudan. I'm, I am a product quality manager for Aika. My boyfriend, Lars, works as a security officer on the Earth Sound Breeze. We are both keen ice, uh, ice hockey players. We play for a local team. But last month, I fell and twisted my ankle. So there's no hockey for me for a while. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sadhu. Give me a moment. Okay, that was great. Thank you so much, Mr. Sadhu. You did great. Okay, now moving on to, I can see some of you. One moment. Um, Miss Eva or Ima, right? Yes, Miss Ima, you have your camera on. Thank you so much for that. Could you read the introduction for us, please? Yes, Miss Ima. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Uh, yeah, I can read for it. Uh, hi, I'm Erika Nordstrom. I'm Swedish. I live in Malmo, in the south of Swedish. Sorry, Sweden. The south of Sweden. I am a product quality manager for IKEA. My boyfriend Lars work as a security officer on the Orson Breeze. We are both team hockey players. We play for a local team. But last month I fell and twisted my ankle. So there is no hockey for me for a while. Thank you so much, Ms. Ima. That was great. Thank you. Mr. Noor Zaman, could you please read the introduction for us? Yes. Hi, I am Erika Narsam. I am Swedish. I live in Malmo, in the south of Sweden. I am product quality manager for IKEA. My boyfriend, Lars, work as a security officer on the personal place. We are both keen eyes for the player. <laughs> We play for a local team, but last month I fell and twisted my ankle, so there's no hockey for me for a while. Thank you, Mr. Nur Zaman. Good work. Yes, Mr. Ferdos, your turn. Could you please read the introduction for us? I am Erika Nordstrom. I am Swedish. I live in Malmo in the south of Sweden. I'm a product quality manager for here. My friend, my boyfriend, Lars, works as a security officer uh, on the foreign or sound bridge. We are both key nice uh, hockey players. We play for a local team, but last month I fell and, and uh, wished my uncle. So there are no hockey for me uh, for a while. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pertos. Now I'd like Miss Muni. Could you please uh, read the introduction for us? Assalamu alaikum. 
I am Erika uh, Nordstrom. I am a Swedish. I live in Melmo in the south of Sweden. I am a productive quality manager for ICA. My boyfriend Lars works as a security officer on the Orsat Bridge. We are both keen ice hockey players. We play for a local team. But last month I fell and twisted my ankle. So there's no hockey for me for a while. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well done, Ms. Mo uh, Moni. Uh, yes, now, uh, Ms. Janna Dosavia, could you please read out the introduction for us? Ms. Janna Dosavia? Okay, moving on to uh, Mr. Islam Ashraf, could you please read the introduction for us? Yes, yes, thank you very much, ma'am. Hi, I'm Eric Anastra. I'm Swiss. I live in Bangkok, in the south of Swiss. I'm a product credit manager of IT. My boyfriend, the worker at the security office on the old country. We are both keen eyes of the player. We play for a local team. But last month I failed and tested my account. So there's no hope for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Islamashi. Uh, that was great, all of you. You've read really well. Thank you very much. Now, moving on to our next activity. Before we move on to that, um, I would like to tell you that uh, listening to your reading, most of you read very well. So this will actually benefit you in your professional life mainly when we oftentimes we have to introduce ourselves professionally. Most of you here are professionals, are working somewhere or uh, minimum you are in the university, right? So even starting from the university, we have to introduce ourselves in a very professional manner, in a very formal way, right? So this is a very good way to introduce yourself in any formal location or even professional stages. So this will actually help you when you're introducing yourself to any formal, in any formal event or in any professional line. So I hope this uh, helps you in that way. So moving on now, what I would like all of you to do is that please prepare your introduction. I'll give you two minutes time. Write it down if you want. I would like all of you to give me a proper introduction, just like we read about Erica Nordstrom. I would like all of you to give me an introduction in the same way. So first, you might tell me where you're from, what you do, and then you might give me some information about your uh, likings, your interests, or maybe, um, you know, like uh, some things that might excite you that you like talking about. So you can add these small informations when you're introducing yourself that actually describe how you are as a person. So like we just saw about Erica, we read about Erica. She gave us an information about how keen she is about uh, ice hockey, right? So that gives us an impression that she is a very, uh, very sporty person. So that gave us an impression about her. Same way, to give, uh, to give the other person an impression about your characteristics, you can add some information about yourself when you're introducing yourself, okay? So take two minutes time, and then I'll start asking you for your introduction. In the meanwhile, I would like to remind all of you, the others who have not yet turned on your camera, please do. It would be very helpful for you as well as me. Please try to turn on your cameras.
Okay, I hope all of you are ready. Okay, let's start with Mr. Nur Zaman. Could you please give us your introduction? Yes, Mr. Nur Zaman. Yes, your mic is on now. Thank you. I'll introduce myself. <coughs> okay, thank you. I'm Mohamed Nur Zaman. Uh, I live in Dhaka. My home district is very good. Except for I live in Dhaka for my job purpose. I I am working in Zedexa International and multinational company buying house. Uh, I have a nice family. I have two sides, two kids, and actually my responsibility is uh, quality ensuring of RMD. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. Yes, thank, you thank you so much, you. Mr. Nur Thank you. That was great. Okay, next moving on to Ms. Ima. Could you please introduce yourself to us? Hello. I am Ima. I'm 24 years old. I'm a student and I like to do crochet uh, in my free time and also I am a dancer from uh, class 11 and I can say that stuff all about myself. Okay, well done. Thank you, Ms. Ima. That was great. Yes, Mr. Ferdos, could you introduce yourself to us, please? <coughs> I am Fedas. Uh, I live in Walmari uh, under Fed district. Uh, I am a audit officer and I live here with my parents. I have no. Um, that's this. That's okay. All okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fedos. Yes, Mr. Kamal, could you introduce yourself to us, please? Oh, uh, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I'm Kamal. Uh, I am 37, uh, government service holder, uh, and uh, that's all. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kamal. Mr. Sajdo, could you please introduce yourself to us? Well, thank you. I'm Sajdo Kovish, and my families and colleagues in called me as Sajdo. I'm professionally a professional accountant, doing a job in one of the big industries, PLC. Completed my graduation from public university. And my favorite working area is financial reporting and planning. So, uh, considering my uh, job experience and other areas, and day to day activities, basically involved about reporting and other complex areas. Okay. In my uh, personal and family life, uh, I have one kid, and my wife is also a complete family housewife. So okay. that's all from my side. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Sajidul. I would like Ms. Dilshad Tabasu. Could you please introduce yourself to us? Hello. Yes, hello. Hello everyone, I'm Dilshad Tavasu. Um, you guys can call me Dilshad. So I'm basically living in living at Mepo in Dhaka and I'm also a teacher at a school and also a student of English department from Uttar University. Um, my hobby at the currently I'm into 3D animation and I love doing this and it's basically my passion. So that's all for it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dilshad. Good to know. Okay, um, we can ask Ms. Moni. Could you introduce yourself, please? Yes, thank you. Give me a chance. Okay, I'm Monica. You can call me Moni. I live in Gajibur. I have been completed my master's program from political science from government college. Uh, at the moment, I'm a homemaker. I have two kids, both of them are daughters. And uh, I like to traveling, cooking, reading a storybook, and I also have a small garden. I 
in my free time I also spend yeah, in my garden. That's all my okay. That's great. Thank you so much, Miss Moni. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. All of you gave a great introduction. Although I could not ask many of you because we have to complete our other lessons. Inshallah, we will be uh, uh, letting you talk in our next activities. Okay, next, moving on to our next activity is about describing people. So we just got to describe ourselves, right? We, introduction is actually describing ourselves. Uh, you know what describing is, right? Giving out information about ourselves or anything, anyone or any location or things. So that is describing. So we just described ourselves. Now we will learn how to describe people, others. So this activity will help you uh, help you tell uh, about others through giving some answers to some questions that are given in the activity. What we have to do is we have some questions given on the left hand column that sorry that are given on the left hand column. So these are the questions given, and we have answers on the right hand side. This these are the answers. But the answers are not in order. They are jumbled. We have to match the question with the appropriate answer from the right-hand column. Now, who are we talking about in this activity? We are talking about Erica Nordstrom. We just got introduced to her, right? So we will be uh, getting some information. We already know some information about her. But now we will get to know more about her through these questions and answers. Here, mainly. What we will learn is how to answer a certain question about describing others or about giving out information about others properly with an appropriate answer. How we can do that, that is what we will be learning here. So in that way, we will also learn how to question about others. So we can, we usually answer questions, but we will also learn the other way around that how can we get to know some information about that one person about, or about some other person through a, an appropriate question, okay? So let's see what the questions are here. Let's get into the activity. I'll zoom it in for all of you. Okay, so here are 10 questions. First is, what does she do? Number one. Two, how old is she? Number three, what she like? Number four. What does she look like? Uh, please don't mark on the screen, whoever is doing it. Please don't mark on the screen. Okay, so then is, who does she look like? What, number six, what color eyes has she got? Number seven, how tall is she? Number eight, what kind of clothes does she wear? Number nine, what does she like doing? Lastly, number 10, how is she? So these are the 10 questions that are given and the answers are given on the left hand side, sorry, right hand side. We have to now match the perfect answer with the questions. So I'll give you one minute time. I'll give you, uh, not one minute time, just take some time to see the questions and the answers so that it's easier for you to answer when I ask you to. Mr. Castor, could you please mute your mic? Thank you. Okay, I hope all of you have seen the questions and answers. Now, what I would like Mr. Sadhulu to ask the questions to Ms. Ima, sorry, to Ms. Dilsha, not to Ms. Ima. Um, Mr. Sadhulu, ask the questions to Ms. Dilsha. Uh, Ms. Dilsha, please answer accordingly. First, greet Ms. Dilsha, Mr. Sadhulu, ask her if she's ready or not, and then we can start. Considering these 10, ten questions, right? Yes. Yes, you have to ask the questions to Ms. Dilshan. Okay, hi, Dilshan. Uh, hello. What does she do? Well, she's the product quality manager for IKEA. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Next. 
This is how we will ask all ten, ten questions. Okay, okay, okay. Only Dilshad, right? Yes, two minutes okay. Dilshad. Okay. How old is she? Uh, she's in her early 20s. What's she like? Uh, she's really nice, very easy going. What, what does she look like? Uh, she's quite tall with long, blonde, wavy hair. Good. Number five. What does she look like? She's the name is of her dad. Very good. Who Do does she look like? Do we get questions so good? Four and five. Oh, sorry. Who does she look like? Yes. What color eyes uh, has she got? Greenish brown. How tall is she? Mm, one meter seventy-three. Very good. What kind of clothes does she wear? What she smart. Well, it's smart, casual, and stylish. Good. What does she like doing? She plays ice hockey and also goes jogging. Very good. How is she? She's fine. Her ankles healing well. Very good. Thank Excellent you. work. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Okay, now, uh, Miss Dilshad, you're not done yet. You will okay. ask the questions now to Miss Ima. Okay, okay. sure. Hello, Hello. Miss Ima. I am good. good. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, then I'll ask you the question. Please uh, answer accordingly. What does she do? He is a product a quality manager for IKEA. Okay. Good. How old is she? She is in her early 20s. Okay. She's in her early 20s. Yeah. What's she like? She like uh, like uh, what is she like? How is she? How is her characteristic? She's really nice, very easy going. Good, good, very good. What does she look like? She's quite tall with long blonde wavy hair. Very good. Who does she look like? She's the image of her dad. Okay. What color eyes has she got? Greenish brown. Okay. How tall is she? Oh, sorry. How tall is she? She's uh, one meter uh, seventy-three. Okay. Very good. What kind of clothes does she wear? Smart, casual, and stylish. Okay. What does she like doing? She plays ice hockey and also go, uh, goes jogging. Okay. How is she? She's fine. Her ankles healing well. Thank you so much. Excellent work, both of you. Thank you, Ms. Dilshad. Now, Ms. Ima, you will be asking the questions to Mr. Islam Asik. Okay. I think he is not here. Mr. Islam Ashik, are you there? No, sorry, he's not here anymore. So let's ask the questions to Mr. Kamal Hussain. Mr. Kamal? Yes, ask the questions to Mr. Kamal Hussain. Mr. Kamal, can you hear He's here, yes. Mr. Yeah, Kamal, do respond to Ms. Ima. Yes, Mr. Kamal? Yes. Uh, hello. Yes. Are you ready, Mr. Kamal? Hearing me? Hello. We can hear you, Mr. Kamal. Okay, let's move to... Yeah. I think he's having some technical issues. We can move to Mr. Nur Zaman. Oh, Mr. Nur Zaman. 
Could you please ask the question to Mr. Farooq Ahmed? Hello, Mr. Farooq Ahmed. Can you hear me? Farooq Ahmed. Yes, I can. Now start. What does she do? She is product quality manager for IQ. How old is she? She is in her early 20s. What is she like? She is really nice, very easy going. What does she look like? She is quite tall with long blonde wavy hair. Wavy hair. Wavy hair. Who does she look like? Who does she look like? Question number five. Yes, Mr. Farooq. Yes, Mr. Farooq, number five. Who does she look like? I think he's having some technical Sorry. issue. Number I five. Can't. Question number five. Who does she look like? It means the question actually is asking that she look, looks like someone. She looks similar to someone. Who is that? Can you answer that, Mr. Farrell? No, uh, the answer is she's the image of her dad. The answer to number five. Who does she look like? She's the image of her dad. Okay? Question number five. What number color six. eye? I'm sorry, uh, number six. What color eyes has she got? Mr. Faru? Greenish brown. Greenish brown. Greenish brown. How tall is she? How tall is she? Yes, Mr. Faru. The height of her. She's asking the height of um, one Eric meter Adams. seventy-three. Very good, very good, excellent. One meter seventy-three. Next question number eight. What kind of clothes does she wear? Clothes. Clothes it's does she wear? As well and stylish. Very good. Number nine. What does she like doing? What sort of activities does she like doing, Mr. Faru? We know that she's a hockey player, right? So she plays ice hockey she and... She plays ice hockey and also goes jogging. Okay, very good. Last one. How is she? She's the... Image or oh, she she is the image of her. Oh, no, sorry. How is she? She's smart, casual, and stylist. Okay, no, that was about her clothes. How is she? Means how is she doing now? So she broke her ankle, right? She got injured, so she's fine. Her ankle's healing well. That is the last answer. But well done, great. All of you did very well. This was very good for all of you. So you answered the questions very confidently, all of you. You tried very hard. Well done. Great work. Okay, now, now that we know how to answer certain questions, how to describe, or even ourselves in a very appropriate and very polite and informative way, in, an, in a very informative way, what we can do is, we can move to our next activity where we can talk about a certain relative or a friend and we can describe them, okay, using the words that are given in this box. So we can use these words, the words given here, words or phrases, not only words, there are phrases given actually. We can use these phrases and we can describe a person and we can talk about a person um, that can be anyone. It's not necessary that it has to be only one certain person that I will say. No, 
It can be any relative of yours. It can be your brother, sister, mother, father, anyone, even a friend. So what you do is take two minutes time. You decide on your own whom you're going to talk about and you write or even jot down if you want certain points that you will be uh, discussing or how you will describe that certain relative or friend of yours. And then we can start listening to you, okay? So I would really like to um, for you to use these phrases that are given here. I'll zoom in so it's easier for you. Uh, see, these phrases, I, it's, very, it's very helpful because these are good phrases that can be used anytime for most of the people. So the phrases are good, fun, very sociable, quite dark, moody, short, faint or curly, a bit shy, quite good looking, of medium height, about 1 meter 70, in his mid 30s. So these are the phrases that are given here. What we will do is we will ask questions like these. The questions that are given were given in the first activity. We will be asking questions like these to you so that you can describe the person that you are talking about. Okay, And the answers should be uh, using these phrases. For example, it's given here, what's your brother like? He's a great guy. He's always joking. You'd like him. So questions and answers like these, that describe people, okay? So what we just learned, that is what we will be doing practically now. Clear, everyone? Take your time. Take two minutes' time. I'll zoom out so that it's easier for you to see both the questions that are given above and the answers that you are going to prepare for, okay? Let's try. Take two minutes' time, and then we can... Start working on it. सम्बन्धे If anyone have you if any one of you have any queries Regarding the activity, don't hesitate. You can ask me. I'll give you the instructions again to be very clear. You will prepare these questions that we just did. We answered these 10 questions about Erica Nordstrom. Now, I will be or any friend of you, uh, any classmate of you here will be asking you the, these questions. And you will talk about any relative or friend of yours using these phrases from here, okay? You will answer accordingly about that specific relative of yours using these phrases. The answers will be for the question, the 10 questions that we just answered about Erika Nordstrom, okay? Is everyone ready? Yes, no. I hope everyone is ready. You got enough time. So let's start. I would like Miss uh, Aisha, Miss Ayasa, to ask Miss Dilsha. 
Miss Asa, are you there? Miss Asa, can you hear me? Okay, I think she's not here. Miss Dilcha, yes. can you hear me? Yeah, yes. I can. Uh, can you please ask five questions out of this, these 10 questions that are here, any five, to mm -hmm. Mr. Sajidul? Okay. And Mr. Sajidu will be answering them. But at first, everyone, who is whoever is asking the questions, whoever will be asking the questions, first ask your partner who he or she will be talking about so that you can question accordingly, okay? So it can be a he or a she. So you have to question in that way, okay? So Ms. Dilshan, first ask Mr. Sajidu whom does he want to talk about? And then uh, Mr. Sajidu can answer and you can question at first. The first five, one to five, ask those five questions to Mr. Sajidu. Yeah, sure. Um, Mr. Sajidu, who do you want to talk about? Hello? Yes, Mr. Sajidu? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. Who do you want to talk about? Uh, okay, I want to talk about my uh one of my colleagues okay well, what does she do okay she's also a professional accountant okay do you know how old she is yeah uh he's uh 44. okay so what's she like uh she likes to uh, fun with other colleagues and uh doing a fantastic job and uh, he's very fluent in speaking in English and some other activities. Okay. What does she look like? Uh, she's uh, very, uh, uh, very fair and uh, she's, she's very tall. Okay. She's very fair and tall. Very good. Yeah. Who does she look like? Uh, okay, she looked like a beauty queen. Okay, <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. you so much. Thank you so much, yeah. both of you. Thank you, Ms. Dilsha. Now, Mr. Sajidu, could you ask the questions, the next uh, five questions from six to ten to Miss Moni? Okay. First, ask her who she wants to talk about, and then you can start the conversation. Okay, Miss uh, Moni. Yes, I'm gonna. Uh, okay. Uh, who uh, actually, what about you want to talk? Um, Whom do you want to talk my about? Sister. Yes, I want to talk about my sister, my younger sister. Okay. okay. What color eyes uh, has she got? Uh, she has got uh, black eye. Okay. A dark black eye. Okay. okay. How, how tall is she? She is uh, medium high, but uh, not too much long. Average tall. five or two inches. In five and two inches. Inch, yeah. Inches. Good. Good. Okay. What kind of clothes does she wear? She like to wear our traditional dress like shari and uh, three piece, and uh, she also like to trendy and stylish. Uh, okay, great. Okay. What, what does she look, uh, like doing? Mm, does she like? What does she like doing? Mm, she like to uh, traveling and she most favorite things try to uh, cooking, especially uh, baking items, and she also like uh, do uh, fast food type of things. Okay, great. How is she? Mm. Uh, she is fine uh, and uh, uh, she is fine and is sociable, cooperative. Okay, good. Well done. Thank you, Mr. Satyadul and Ms. Muni. Thank you so much. Okay, now we can ask Ms. Muni, please ask the questions to Mr. Nur Zaman. Ask him who he wants to talk about and then start the conversation. Ask the questions from number one to five. Okay. May I start? 
Yes, go on. Yes. Mr. Nurzaman, yes. Yes. Acha, first number question. What does she uh, Miss Moni first asked me what? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, who, want whom to do you want to talk about? Whom do you want to talk about? Very good. I would like to talk about my daughter. Okay, great. Okay. What does she do? She's a student. Okay. How old is she? Uh, how old is she? Uh, her old is uh, six years. She is six years old. Six years she old. She is six years old. Yes. Good. What she like? Uh, she like. What she like? Actually, she likes. Uh, she likes to study. Okay, no, Mr. Nurzaman, uh, this question means what she like means how is she, her characteristics, is she fun loving, is she quiet, how is she, what she uh, like? Uh, yes, she is very uh, uh, talented and very smart girl. Good, we can be talented and smart girl. It's like two, uh, yeah. We have also added. Talk to talk to as you six years so uh, I also have a six years baby uh, so that's why I'm telling you. Oh great! So that's great. That's great. Okay, next one number four. Number four. What does she look like? Actually, so she is a uh, she's a cute girl. Okay. She's question very cute. number. Okay. Good. Okay. Next question number five. Who does she look like? She is an image of me. Okay. Thank okay. You. So she's, she's the image of her dad. That's great. Very good. Very good, Mr. Nurzaman. Very good, Miss Moni. Thank you so much, both of you. Okay. Moving on now, Mr. Sultan, could you please ask the questions to Mr. Pari? Mr. Sultan Mahmoud, are you there? Yes, I am here. Okay, I don't I'm... think he's here. Ms. Oh, you are? Okay, thank you. Mr. Tari, uh, could you please answer the questions that will be asked by Mr. Sultan? Mr. Tari, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, yeah. thank you. No, go on. Uh, Mr. S uh, Mr. Sultan, ask Mr. Tariq who he's, he's wanting to talk about at first, and then you can start the questions. Ask the questions from number 6 to 10. May I ask? Uh, yes, Mr. Sultan. Yes. yes. Mr. Tariq. Yes, you can. First, ask him who he wants to talk about. Hello. Hello. Yes, Mr. Sultan. Yes. Mr. Sultan, um, I think you're having some technical issues. No issue. Uh, I can. Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. Ask Mr. Tariq who he wants to talk about, and then start the question. Mr. Sultan, are you talking? We cannot hear you. Yes, I am hearing. Uh, Mr. Sultan, you we cannot hear you, sir. Would I talk? Would I question to Mr. Tarek? Or yes, you, you ask the questions to Mr. Tarek. You will ask the questions, Mr. Sultan. What color eyes has he got? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sorry. What color eyes has she got? Uh, sorry, oh, sorry. You should color eyes has she got? Mr. Exactly, Mr. Sultan. Ask Mr. Tari who he wants to talk about. Ask that first. Mr. Sultan. I want to. I want to talk about my song. Okay. Good, Mr. Tari. Um. So, Mr. Sultan, ask Mr. Tariq about his son. What color eyes have you signed? 
Okay. Uh, has your child got? Good. Next. How old is uh, how tall, tall is you, he? How tall is your boy? Son. Good. His meter is about 60 meter. Okay. What kind of car uh, clothes uh, does, uh, does you, uh, sorry, uh, do you boy wear? What kind of clothes does he wear? Just say what uh, kind of clothes does he wear because it's a son. You say he. Oh, okay, okay. What kind of clothes? Yes, you can answer. Yeah, yeah, he usually wears t-shirt and uh, short pant. Okay, so he wears casual clothes. What does uh, what does uh, you he boy, like doing? Sorry, sorry. What what does he like doing? He like to play all the time. How is he? Very good. Last one. How good? How Very good. How old? How is he? Check him out. Oh, how, how is, is he? He is very. Yes, tell us um, about his well being. If he's fine or not. Yeah, 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 he's fine. Okay, so he is doing well. Alhamdulillah. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Mr. Sultan and Mr. Tarek. Now, I would like Miss, uh, Mr. Tarek to ask the questions to Miss. Miss Aisha, are you there? Miss Aisha, are you there? I don't think he, she's here. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tariq, could you please ask the questions to Mr. Farooq Ahmed? Mr. Farooq, could you answer the questions to Mr. Tariq? Okay. Okay, Mr. Tariq, ask Mr. Farooq who he's, he's wanting to talk about, about whom he's going to talk. Um, and then start the question from uh, 1 to 5. Mr. Farooq, who is want to talk about? My daughter. Yes, Mr. Farooq? Yeah, you... Your daughter, okay. How old is she? She is 12 years old. Good. Um, can, can I hear... Is, uh, can I hear her name? What is her name? Her name is Tasnia. Okay. Uh, what is name? Uh, Mr. Taik, stick to the uh, questions that are given in activity one from one to five. Ask these questions. It will be easier to answer. One to five. Uh, what, what does she do? She is a student, uh, a standard child, six. Okay, she is studying she in class six. Class six, yeah, I yeah, got it. Uh, well, Mr. Farooq, what she like? Uh, she is like a big book, class movie, etc. Okay. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much, Mr. Tariq and Mr. Farooq. Thank well you. tried, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. You all did great. That was a good conversation for everyone. Everyone tried very well. Now, now that we learned how to answer questions appropriately while giving information about people and describing them in a nice way with much information that is required, we can now move on to our next lesson that is in our next page moving on here in this lesson now we just learned how to describe people right now we will see how to describe places we oftentimes we have to talk about a certain place a location or even our house um, we have to give information about how it is uh, how big it is, whether it's comfortable or not, how many rooms it has or not. So we have to give certain information about some places, right? So this whole lesson will cover how we can describe places as well as things. So first we will see 
how we can describe a place. A place or many places or any place. Okay, that can be a house, that can be a park, that can be a certain location, a spot that you visited or um, any place, just randomly. So we will learn how to describe that place and that will help you to even when you're in a conversation, that will help you to give information about the place. So before we learned how to give information about people, now we will learn how to give information about places. So what we have to do is uh, here in this activity, in activity three, there are questions given regarding uh, an apartment about Erika's home. Read the questions about Erika's home, underline the correct answer. So Erika's home, so we are going to ask some questions about Erika's home. And here are two answers given, among which one of them is the appropriate or suitable answer for the question that is being asked. So for example, number one, the question and the answers are given for you. That is, what's your apartment like? So that's the question that has two answers. One is, I like it a lot. Another option is it's modern and very comfortable. So out of these two answers given, one of the answers is correct and appropriate for the question that has been asked. So that the correct answer is it's modern and very comfortable. Same way, the rest of the questions have two answers given, among which one is correct. And you have to select that. You have to select the correct answer and you have to tell me that, okay? So read the questions. I'll read the questions for you. You go on with the answers and make out which is the correct one. So question two is how big is it? Question three, how many bedrooms are there? For number four, what size is the kitchen? Number five, which floor is it on? Number six, which part of town is it in? Number seven, how far is it to your work? So you have to read the answers carefully and figure out which one is the appropriate answer. Take 30 seconds time because it's easy. I don't think you will need much more than that. We, we can then start with our work. Okay. okay, I hope I all of you are ready. ready. The first, first I'd, like, I'd like to ask Ms. Moni, could you please ask the questions to Mr. Uh, sorry, to Ms. Dilsha? Okay. First question, what's your apartment like? It's modern and very comfortable. How big is it? About 90 square meters. How many bedrooms are there? Two doubles and a single. What is that in the kitchen? Uh, four meters by two. Which floor is it on? The fourth floor. Very good. Which part of the town is it in? It's north of the river. Great. How far is it to your work? Just a five minute cycle ride. Very good. Excellent work. Thank you, Ms. Moni and Ms. Dilshad. That was great. Thank now, you. Ms. Dilshad, could you please ask the questions to Mr. Shajidul? Yeah, sure. Mr. Shajidul, are you ready? Yeah, please. Yeah, okay. sure. Okay. What's your apartment like? It's modern and very comfortable. How big is it? About 90 square meters. How many bedrooms are there? The double and single. What size is the kitchen? Four meters by two. Which floor is it on? The fourth floor. Which part of the town is it in? It's not of the river. How far is it to your work? Just a five minutes second range. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Ms. Yusha. Thank you, Mr. Sajidul. Mr. <coughs>
Yes, Mr. Shajito, please ask the question to Mr. Nurul Zaman. Hello. Hi, Nurul Zaman. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. What's your apartment like? <coughs> it's modern and very comfortable. How big is it? About 90 square meters. Okay. How many bedrooms are there? Two doubles and a single. Okay. What size is the kitchen? Four meters, slide two. Which floor is it on? The fourth floor. Which part of the town is it in? It's near a bus stop. No, it's north of the river. It's north of the river. Which How part far? of town? So it's north of the river. How, yes, far is, is, so How far is it to your work? Just a five minutes cycle ride. Okay, great. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Thank you so much, Mr. Sajidul and Mr. Nurzaman. Yes, now, Mr. Nurzaman, could you ask the questions to Mr. Tari? Okay. Uh, Mr. Tariq, can you hear Mr. Nurzaman? Are you ready? Mr. Tariq, are you there? Okay, let's ask the question to Mr. Farooq. Mr. Farooq, I hope you're there. Yes. Yes, thank you. Mr. Nurzaman, please ask the question. Hello. Mr. Farooq, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. What's your apartment like? It's modern and very comfortable. How big is it? About 90 square meters. How many bedrooms are there? Two doubles and a single. What size is the kitchen? Four meters by two. Which floor is it on? The fourth floor. Which part of town is it in? It's north of the river. How uh, far is it to your work? Just a uh, five minutes cycle drive. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. That was very good. Well done, all of you. So for today, we will keep it till here because as this is the first class, as it's the first trial class, not everyone can give so such a long time. Uh, all the party participants could not uh, keep up till the end. So we will wrap it up till here. We will keep it up till here for today. I'll stop sharing for now. Thank you all. Thank you very much for being there throughout the class, for actively participating. That was great work uh, with all of you. All of you showed great effort. Thank you so much. Inshallah, see you in our next demo class that is tomorrow. For now, I will take my leave. Sir would like to talk to, to all of you. So uh, over to you, sir. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you very much, Huma. Thanks for uh, staying all the while here. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, Farooq bhai. And so uh, my salam to all and Shajidul bhai. And my special thanks to all of you who have stayed all the while. All the while. Especially thanks to Nuri Jamal bhai, Shajidul bhai, Monia pa, Aisha pa. And most importantly, Dilshad pa. Tariq Rahman, you stayed all the while. A lot of students joined in the, in, in the very beginning but not all of them could stay till the end, okay. So I will not uh, take a uh, 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 very uh, long time from you right now still. So our next class will be, next this is the demo class. As you know, our policy and our system is that we always start the course with two demo classes. This demo class does not mean that this is the marketing type of the class and we are showing you the lessons why the lesson will be very much interesting for the students. Not we do not do so. We start from the very, uh, beginning of the lesson what we usually do throughout our course what the course starts with but the difference is that the students get the opportunity uh, to attend the class without uh, paying the course fee okay so first two classes always remain as the demo classes this is the intermediate level course this course is not for those students who do not have the basic knowledge in english the students who do not have the basic knowledge in english or those who consider themselves uh, 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 very weak in english the uh, the course this course is not for them they have the course here for the uh, elementary level course 
or pre-intermediate level courses those courses are for them but this course is for those who have at least basic knowledge in english you know you see this is the intermediate level course this course is a little a little little stronger course okay so you see that, that you have seen today that you have to use your own intuition own um, you have to face the challenges to uh, solve the and to take part in the activities that those have been shown uh, uh, for, uh, yeah, by your madam today in our in our first unit okay so at before that i like to make it clear for you clear to you that is our next demo class will be tomorrow at 9 30 but when we will continue the course after uh, tomorrow then we may adjust the time 50 minutes or half an hour taking later or earlier as you demand or request for so this is the last batch of the day so here the professional people join the class sometimes they cannot reach home by 9 30 or 9 o'clock so in that case we can uh, refix the time talking with the students after the admission okay so i like to know from all of you one by one taking a little time uh, the, uh, just, just the feedback about the class uh, at first i like to ask uh, mr uh, moniapa moniapa please uh, as you cannot turn on the camera please uh, give us your feedback about the course of the class miss moni miss moni okay i i be, be, moni might not be ready yes okay okay moniapa please would you please give yes. us uh, you, you would comment you you, you, you uh, we, we we love to hear yes, we love to have uh, 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 my, 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 my special request yeah, it, it, uh, my special request to don't try to please us please don't do it you don't need to do it just tell the truth tell the reality what you uh, yeah, how you like that definitely yeah it's uh, really, it was really good class. And moreover, Madam is, uh, our Madam is really cooperative as well, uh, really um, friendly uh, in in my mind. And uh, it's really good. It was really good class. Okay. Thank you. How, how do you about the, how, what do you think about the course? Actually, I will. Uh, I, I don't know about your course. Uh, whenever I will know about your course duration how did, how did you and like the course? How did you everything, and then I will decide I will join or not. But I do not. Uh, I did not uh, see your all um, all things or uh, your duration, course material, okay. everything. Okay. Just uh, you added to me, and I also joined your okay. classes. We, 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 whenever we. I will know about, then I will take decision. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, now Shajidul Bhai. Shajidul Bhai, please. Mr. Shajidul. Yes, Pega. How would you please give some? Salam alaikum. Welcome, Salam Shajidul Bhai. Okay. Uh, again, uh, I'd like to say that uh, it was a fantastic and nice classes, especially my presentations, connectivity and uh, other species that was uh, that was really nice for for our developments especially so it will be much more pleasures pleasures and uh hope for the best for all of us okay thank you very much now i'd like to move on to not Dilshadaba right now because she's from english department we'll hear her coming later uh and 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 Jaman Bhai. Yes, um, thank you. Actually, really, it was a very nice classes, and I